Exercise 2. More words. In this step, you can add words and expand on what you wrote um, in the previous exercise. Now, take more time to do it. Look, listen again, add to what you've already written, but do keep it simple and please don't get bogged down. Just let your ideas flow. Here's what I came up with. Through my window I see mimosa trees covered in yellow flowers. In the air I smell smoke from burning vegetation that masks your perfume. In my mouth I taste coffee and I can't get to sleep. In the distance I hear the traffic and the clickety-clack of the train. I hold out my hand and I touch a bookcase full of your letters. In my heart I feel lonely and sad that you are not here. OK, I agree that I've started to get a bit poetic in there and I've started to go beyond the immediate instance. That's the whole point. You are totally free to start doing that. The thing I want you to do is not to waste time digging deep into your emotional memory and things like this. I just want you to have fun writing down the first thing that comes into your mind. And I hope that with some of you there's going to be some really ridiculous and funny things that come out of this. We're still in exercise two. What I want you to do now is to take away the beginning of each of your sentences. So in my case I'm now left with I see mimosa trees covered in yellow flowers. I smell smoke from burning vegetation that masks your perfume. I taste coffee and can't get to sleep. I hold out my hand and I touch a bookcase full of your letters. I feel lonely and sad that you're not here. OK? So now it's beginning to take shape. By taking away the beginning of the sentence, it, it suddenly looks less like uh, some kind of school exercise. Of course, it's quite obviously, in my case, a lot about I. And in your case, it will be too at the moment. But don't worry, we're not there yet. So, whatever you do, don't get discouraged and don't throw away your efforts. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised what we come up with as you progress.